What is up guys, this is PVM Vertigo, and today we're starting a new little uh, gameplay series. We're going to be playing a game that I actually bought last year called This War of Mine. And it's like a survival game, crossed with like uh, The Sims or something. But, I don't know, I've heard it's pretty fun. I've played it a little bit, but I've never played through like the entire thing. So, let's just get started here. No more talking. Alright, let's see who we start with here. Day number one. Game takes place in a civil war. Um, I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere definitely very cold. Look at that. There's like shells. Uh, looks like shells hit the building or something. I don't know. But we have a few survivors here. That's what matters. They live in a crappy rundown house. It was probably nicer before the war started. As you can see, the shells hit the building and... Um, well, we need to restore some of this stuff. So this game pretty much uses a fairly certain only mouse controls, right? I think you can use WASD. No, you can't. It's pretty, it's pretty much just all mouse controls. So we have Bruno, who is apparently a good cook. Uh, do we have... We do not have a stove, so that's not going to be of any use right now. We have Kadia who's got good bargaining skills, so she's going to probably be out trading and stuff. Um, and then we have Pable, the fast runner. Okay, he's probably going to be out looting, so he can get away from like people with guns and stuff. What do we want to do here first? What do we have? Our things. We got nothing. All right, so we need to start scavenging. Hey, Bruno, you're going to go over here, and you're going to... That's, that's locked. Rip. Uh, what's in here? We need to get our little base started here. Okay, so we found all this crap. Don't know what we're really going to use it for, but it's uh, it's better than the nothing that we had before. What we got. Let's actually read this stuff here. We got water. Obviously, you need that. I'm sure you uh, well, you use that to make a meal or alcohol to make a good meal or an alcohol. Okay, I get it. Oh, we actually have a lock pick. We can can we use this on one of these doors over here? Yeah, we can. Look at that. We can use the lockpick to open the door, that's nice, that's cool. And then, I don't think these garbage piles or dirt piles actually give you anything, but there's probably going to be stuff back there that we can use. Alright, we need other people to be doing multiple things here. Uh, I want you to uh, go up here, yeah, and you, um, where do I want to send you? I want to send you down here, you're going to work down there. So she's, oh yeah, she's rummaging here. She found some herbs. Okay, so apparently you can use herbs to make herbal medications or roll up cigarettes. So that's definitely useful. Do we have any smokers in here? Uh, let me check. Um, got some wood there. We can use it to make, like, benches and stuff. Pablo. Yeah, he was, uh, what was he? Yeah, he was a football player. Bruno. Does he, cook? Does he like to smoke? Mm. Drag for more. I don't know what that means. Oh well. We'll figure out if he wants to smoke or not. But it's easier to have people who don't smoke if you have happy people. But if they're unhappy, having them smoke just makes them like they can be happier because they're smoking but I mean it you have to like trading for the cigarettes or either making them can be a pain I'd rather spend my time doing other things than feeding them cigarettes and stuff <sighs> okay now nah, just go up here and lockpick Alright, they're gonna break down this door. Oh, let's see what kind of cool stuff we have in here. We have... Alright. What do we got? Oh, we got some... Oh, we got some meat. Yeah, we need some of that. Anybody hungry? Nobody's hungry. 
Yeah, you get started on that. I don't think we are gonna have enough time. It's only 1.30 p.m. I'm pretty sure it goes to like either 10 p.m. or 8 p.m. I don't know. Okay, Bruno got done with that. We need to do as much as we can today. It's the first day. So, what do we got? Oh, we got some jewelry, yeah. That's nice. We're still gonna go scavenging our first day. But that jewelry will come in handy later when we actually have to trade and stuff. Hey, no, you, you're you not gonna go relax. Screw that. You're gonna find what you can in that materials pile there. Alright, so we got some components, sugar, wood. Alright, Bruno, you're gonna have the job of doing some crafting over here. See what you can make. Alright, what do we need? A bed takes... Okay, we're definitely gonna need some beds, but do we want a bed, or how much do you need to make a stove? You need six wood, 18 components. We have, so we have enough for two beds and a stove, or a simple heater. Yeah. Okay. Um. Wait, is this the same thing as a stove? It's a, it's a heater. It, it heats the shelter, but does it cook things? No, crude stove is different than the simple heater. Okay. We're not going to need a heater unless we, um, starts getting cold. Right now, I don't think it's cold. Let's make one of these. Uh, we want to place it... Let me just place it down here. There's a lot of space down here. Yeah, I go start working on that. Uh, you're going to come down here, too. Enough scavenging for right now. We're going to... Look at those hops. We're going to start, well, making this place a little bit more homey. Because... They're going to have to survive here a long time, and it is a war. It's not like a simple, like, Sims game, no. Raiders come in and try to take your crap. Uh, you know, you can die of either starvation, you know. You can die from the raiders, obviously, or you can just die from the cold. Like, the weather is honestly probably the most dangerous. So we need to, like, fortify our little base here as much as we can. Where can I place this? I'll place it right next to the refrigerator. Why not? What is this guy working on? Pablo's working on the dirt pile, or the scrap pile still. That's not actually a scrap pile, that's a rubble. Rubble pile. Alright. My goal is on day one and day two is just to clear out everything, get as much as we can from in the shelter, and then uh, start going out and raiding a little bit. Alright, Bruno, you're gonna go craft a little bit more. Let's see what else we can get. I would like one more bed so that the person who goes out scavenging can go out, but the other two should just be sleeping. We don't want them to get uh, fatigued on the first day. That would not be good. Uh, I would like to make... Yeah, bed. Do we really need anything else? Okay, let's make a bed. I would like a radio because it makes them happier. They get like news information and actually I think if you have a radio you can um I think there's some sort of like weather report thing on there and it'll tell you when it gets colder. I'm not I'm not sure if that's true or not though. Uh, I think in this episode of this war of mine I'm just gonna test out see if you guys like it, but I'm gonna go through days one and two probably. It's it might take like twenty minutes or I don't know, maybe up to thirty minutes, but who cares? These two are just chilling out. Actually, do we have enough? We only have one piece of meat, and I don't think we have any water. Wait, we have some water. Oh, it's nighttime. Okay. Um, let's see. What what are our options here? We have the Crypt Squat, which has huge amounts of materials, lots of weapons, and lots of parts. This one has this is a semi-detached house. It has lots of food. Question is, do we need food or do we need materials? Some food. Um, there's danger in this one, though. That means that there's people living there. Shelled cottage. Alright. I don't think people will starve. Not, um... I don't think they'll starve if they're, like, you know, just hanging out for one day, not eating anything. I mean, it's, it, it makes a little bit of sense, but... I mean... What is it, three days before you starve, right? It'll obviously suck, but we need materials to keep, like, the raiders away and stuff. That's, uh, imminent danger. 
Okay, so we got some little bit of materials here. I don't want to take all of it. Like, I don't know how much materials there are here. Does anybody live here? There's a fire going. Danger. Like, you can you can die in, like, two seconds if somebody finds you. What's this? Oh, yeah, you can hide here. If somebody walks past, you can assassinate them then. Uh, looting in this game is pretty surreal. Wait, do we need components or what? I'm gonna say both. Take some of that sugar. Alright, we're just gonna go on full components and wood run. Actually, is there a refrigerator over there that I see? Here, look through the keyhole. Is anybody in there? Oh, there's a survivor. Dude, she. Oh, rip. Does she buy the refrigerator? No. Where's their fridge? Oh, they can't even open that. Is there any, like, meds in here or something? Oh, they hear me. They hear me. That red's not good. I need to get out. Alright, well, I came for what we... For what I came for. Or I got what I came for, I'm saying. But, um... We were really in no danger there. That lady had nothing. But, um... I don't want to cause any controversy. Because we already had what we needed. We wanted our components and wood. Oh, it would be nice to get some food, but I didn't see if there was any... I don't think there was any fridge in there, was there? There was no food. The night was calm. Pavla had been searching for supplies and brought back all this crap. Nice. These guys... Oh, they're both hungry. Um... Let's see, let's create a radio. Yeah. Like a radio. Um... Let's place it right here. I think I'm going to make like, hmm, no, I'll place it down here. Why not? These are by the beds. Okay. Uh, yo, Katie, uh, you, you go clear out all these, all this crap over here and Bruno, you get working on this. Oh yeah, if we had a shovel, that'd be a whole lot nicer. Alright, Bruno, let's see what you can make here. Got any recipes? Alright, so, cooked food requires one of these fuel. And if we had, if we could make cooked food with vegetables, and it's twice as efficient using meat, but we don't have any of that. Make some, some of that, yeah. It's plus 16 C. Which is actually not that bad. Um, is there any medical stuff in here? There's not. The rebel leader instructed us to warn listeners not to cross the front line. Failure to comply could result in death. Okay. So obviously the war is still going on full force. And the rebels are still... Well, they're serious about taking over the previous government. But we're not worried about that. We're, oh, someone's at the door. Oh, Kadia. Go up there. Bruno, you take over her job. Kadia is going to be the bargainer here. She's the... She's the merchant, the trader. I wonder what kind of stuff he's got on him. Come on, I haven't got all that. Okay, yeah, trade. What do you got? Oh, well, you got some tobacco. You got some... Oh, canned food. It would cost you, though, apparently. I don't have any vegetables. I'd want some of those. Coffee. I have for almost nothing. Ammunition is quite common, apparently. Lockpick. Hmm. Honestly, the most... Okay. Um... 
I don't know. You can only use that. Like, that would get our two people not hungry anymore, but is it worth it? Like, we probably have to put up a lot for that, because it would cost, he says. He says it's rare. Uh, what do we need? Oh, medications. Yeah, that's... That's definitely even rare. Let's, uh, let's get some lockpicks and some components. Mm. Oh. I'll trade you some... Alright. Beautiful. Two lockpicks and this. I don't really know if that's good, but that's... Well, it's... We didn't need that jeweler for anything else. Go away. Go away. I don't want to see you anymore. Alright, Bruno, or Pablo. Let's see if you can... Oh, he's sick? What? Somehow he got slightly sick. To improve, you need... Okay. Let's do it. I don't feel too well. I think I have a fever. Okay, I'm gonna... Pablo's not going out this, uh, tonight. I'm gonna let him go, um... What's it called? I'm gonna let him go to sleep. And then... Actually, I'm gonna let him sleep in the day, too, and night. After he's done doing this, I'll let him sleep. And then, I think Katie is gonna go out instead. Because... I wanna go to somewhere with a lot of food. Like, uh... We're not gonna go to the decrypt building or whatever. Like, uh, we were yesterday. I think today we're gonna go either to that dangerous house, or... The other, uh, whatever it was called. The shelled cottage. Alright, Katie, what can you do here? What am I gonna have you do? Oh yeah, go see what the new workshop has. Alright. Oh, we can make a comfy armchair. We already have a stove, don't we? Metal workshop. Tools such as shovels for clearing rubble, crowbars, and knives for self-defense. You can also use it to repair firearms. Is it worth it? I don't think it's worth it. Um, I want to make some of those. Yeah, I think we're going to go out for some wood and some food. But we have really nothing else to do today, so I'm just going to end the day. Alright, this guy, is, you're sleeping in the bed. Uh, Kadia, you're going to go out scavenging and... Ooh, what's this? Caution advice. Lots of food in the garage. Huge amounts of materials. Alright, this is, this is the place. Pair, I would like you to take one lockpick with you. And I think that's it. Let's take that. I wonder if the owners are still around. What owners? Yeah, you do this. Yeah, we need mostly wood because I want to board up the walls because otherwise raiders can come in. <laughs> oh, that's sad. <sighs> okay. Oh, beautiful. I want some of these. What is this? Fertilizer? Oh, it's worth it, though. We'll come back for it if we need it, though. Shit, 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 shit. Hey, you. I need meds for my father. Got some? Oh, hey. He's nice. What do you want? Well, this guy's got a saw blade. I want a weapon. Crowbar. Hmm, that's not really a okay, weapon parts. I want to get something off of him, but all the stuff that I need, the food especially, is expensive. Um. Honestly, I don't even really have anything to trade. I'm just to say, not interested. Close it, close, close that door. Can I close the door? They're following me. Oh, that guy's sick. Is that 
definitely not good for his health. Better for us, though. Anything else we can raid? Is there any way to... Oh, yeah, we can get up there. I want to steal a little bit. I won't steal any of their valuables, but I want to steal some of their food, or their materials here. And we need wood for the, you know what, the, the base. What's in here? More? Oh my god, there's so many materials. Wait, is that, is that a fridge stop? Wait, no. Where's their fridge? Where do they keep their food? Uh, can't get it without a saw blade. Were we already in this spot? Yeah, we just looted this, didn't we? Well, you click that button to run to exit, by the way. Um, we were out for not that long. We didn't get any food, but we got materials, so I don't know if that's good. Honestly, it's probably bad. And probably in the next episode, we're, we might have to fight some people over food, because this is going to get insane. We haven't gotten any food out looting. We have no way of making food if we don't have any, like, raw meat. We didn't even get any vegetables out of that guy, because I didn't have to trade. But, um... Yeah, that's the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, yeah, next episode should be pretty interesting, but as for right now, this is PVM Vertigo. Peace out.